Good evening and welcome to Phil Waywright Gymnasium. Argus Dragons as they come out tonight hosting the Oregon Davis Bobcats. So here we are tonight, beautiful high school. Give that to Jacob, please. Uh, with Philly Dean on the computer. I think Macy's at home helping us out with production and Val's in the house here from Rochester Sentinel. And there is Peyton on the camera. So Lady Dragons coming in on 10 and six on the season, taking on a 12 and three Oregon Davis Bobcats. It's gonna be a good matchup. This is always a fierce rivalry been some very very competitive and amazing games over the last I don't know 10 well since about 2006 watching my niece Kelsey when they went they said whoever wins Argus Oregon Davis wins state Dragons came up short back in 2006 and uh, the uh, Lady Bobcats won it so it's the way it's been it's always been that way even Macy can attest to it she played four tough years there against the Lady Bobcats for the Argus Lady Dragons. So we got about two minutes left. We're gonna have a few things coming up tomorrow. FFA Fish Fry here. There's a blood drive for the American Red Cross here at 4, oh, 1.30 till 6.30 p.m. We have a mini cheer camp at halftime of the varsity game. And in between the games, the Argus High School and the administration is going to honor the state 2019 class 1a state soccer champs by distributing their class and state rings and like uh, val ross popo said boy that blue sure looks better than the red that she got because <laughs> the, the little rock and the ribbon was red when the girls came up uh, as the runner-up for state in basketball and she mentioned that the blue looked worlds better. Still reminiscing about that great game down there in Indianapolis against Jack Sandell. So with that, the Lady Dragons are still in the locker room, getting ready to come out. Coach Minix has his Lady Bobcats in a huddle, chatting with them, getting them ready to go. And the Lady Dragons just come out. So we're gonna get the national anthem in, and then we'll do the starting lineups, and we'll get things going from Phil Waybright Gymnasium at beautiful Argus High School. Right, Philly? Yes. <laughs> no family reunion tonight. No family reunion? No family. Tomorrow night there will be. Tomorrow there'll be a few here. Oh, boy. As the boys tomorrow night play on, play the boys Bobcats versus the Dragons so that'll be a, a nice match game after game between the two nights so we'll see what happens and getting done with the school fight song and look at slacker Ted Hayden in the house <laughs> oh boy
All right, we're getting ready to do the starting lineups. Coach Minix, four seniors, one junior, one sophomore, four freshmen. Freshman, number 15, Elizabeth Johnson. Senior, number 21, Caitlin Sauer. Sophomore, number 31, Madeline Hutspeth. Junior, number 41, Mercedes Rhodes. And number, or senior, number 45, Jaden Worthington. And here we go, number, senior, number 14, Ellie LaFrey. Senior, number 20, Cackney Hoffman. Junior, number 22, Maddie Vanderweel. Senior, number 34, Morgan Dunlap. And a sophomore, number 40, Lizzie Edmonds. Coach Minix for the Lady Cougars. Coach Dewar for the Lady Dragons. Lady Cougars. Lady Bobcats. That was last week's game. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's a, it's about, there's not much difference between the Cougar and the Bobcat. One's just got a longer tail. <laughs> That's all right. Well, hopefully it's the same uh, result. Dragons beat the Cougars. It'll be interesting. It Go either way. Send me a message. I'll send you a shout out. Send Phil a message. We'll send you a shout out. Here's the tip, and Edmonds wins it, and here comes Dunlap. Kicks it over to Vanderwill. Boxer, well, they got the box and one. Vanderwill open. Kicks it over. Hoffman open three, and it's in. Dragons up 3 0. Hoffman with the bucket. Sowers has it, kicks it. Rhodes, long distance three, and it's no good. Rebound goes to Dunlap. And they're not wasting time. Kicks it over to Edmonds, cleans it up, gets it over. Vanderwill recovers, shots up. Dragons up by five with Vanderwill shooting two. Break the press, Worthington. Rhodes travels bigger than life. Dragons starting out very strong. So freshman Elizabeth Johnson's gonna have a work cut out on her. Covering Dunlap. LaFree fakes, looks, kicks it over. Van Wheel. LaFree. Quick jumper at the line. Misses and they can't get to it. Sowers with the rebound. Rhodes. And one foul on LaFree. I didn't even see her raise her hand, but she got it with her body. <laughs> I say it looked like she clotheslined her. <laughs> and puts it in. Dunlap having no problem getting around the freshman. Some big shoes for her. Silly mistake by the Lady Dragons, giving it away for no reason. Bounce pass, girls. Rhodes will be covered closely. So will Worthington. Husbeth. A bank shot. Don't know how that went in. <laughs> that was way high on the backboard, but it counts. Sadie's steals it, and there it is. Just that quick, the Lady Dragons lets them score seven straight with two silly plays on the offensive end. Sowers, misses, rebound, blocked, Edmonds. Timeout, Coach Dewar, we'll be back right after this. The Winning Edge is your local provider for all your school athletic needs. 
From providing customizable sportswear to engraving trophies, The Winning Edge strives to help teams find their edge on the playing field. Visit The Winning Edge today. Locally owned and operated, Mike's Trash LLC in Rochester is your local service for all your trash removal needs. Whether you're a big business or a local resident, Mike's Trash LLC will be sure to take care of all your waste removal needs. Contact Mike's Trash LLC today. And we're back. Dragons basketball. Dunlap against the freshman. Kicks it over to Vanderwill. Rotates it quick. LaFree, baseline jumper wide open, and it's off. Rebound, Edmonds. Turns in the middle, puts it up, and misses. Rebound goes to the Bobcats. Blocked. Oh, my word. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Woo. Ooh. That was a good block. I, I would have called a jump bow. I think the whole gymnasium is saying the same thing. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Her hand was on the ball, pretty good, but it says her elbow got her arm. And uh, little ball doesn't lie, Justice on the free throw. <laughs> Worthington, she had an amazing game against, uh, what was it, John Glenn back in the Bi-County her freshman year. She was so good and makes that one. Sowers. And the Dragons not looking good at the moment. Started off fine and now have been shaky for some reason. Vanderbilt over to Morgan. Dunlap for three. Short. And it's off. Hudspeth comes away with it and throws it up the roads. Edmonds blocks it back with good hustle down. And the Dragons just need to settle down. This game should be Really close at the moment, but Bobcats have got 10 unanswered points. Kicks it way out to Sowers. Back over to Rhodes. It's so easy of a play to read. Vanderbilt splits them. Goes around another one. Kicks it over, LaFree for two, misses. Kicks it out. Now the Dragons are getting open shots, but they just have to put them in. Rhodes, long distance three, and it's good. 13 to five. <laughs> Oh, Tony got mistaken on what team she was rooting for. She just saw a long three. <laughs> Hoffman misses. Layup. Ball's loose. Tied jump ball, and it's going to go for the Bobcats. Sowers makes it. And the problem right now is Oregon Davis can't miss, and the Dragons are having issues making it. Hoffman blocked. Dragons uh, from the field, 2 of 12. Edmonds puts it in. Rhodes. Sowers blocked. And it goes back over. Reach in. Ball's loose. It's out of bounds. It's going to be Dragons basketball. It came off of black. And it's Dragons basketball. You betcha. Official perfect position to watch all that action. A little bit of a mess there between all the players, but it was just a good hustle play. Vanderwill with the block shot. Edmonds, 
bucket. Nope. Off the back rack. Misses. Here it goes. Trying to break long to Hutspeth. Oh, boy. Reversal and the bucket. And LaFree has two. And Morris is coming in for LaFree. And Dunlap back in. Missed by Hutspeth. Foul on Mercedes. Hutspeth, dad, Argus alumni, Brent Hutspeth. Live over in Walkerton area. Transferred from John Glenn to Oregon Davis this year. And now plays for the Lady Bobcats. Hoffman gets it. Looks. Morris gives it to Dunlap and misses the easy one. Rebound. Missed another shot. It's going to be Dragons basketball with the jump ball. <laughs> you can tell what the fans wanted. They wanted an over the back, which could she, have been called. She had her arm in there, and she had her pull over. Three, in and out. And Vanderbilt with a foul. Dragons down by 11. Gonna be Oregon Davis's ball off of Edmonds. Gets it back in. Worthington kicks it out. Rhodes kicks it over. Hutsmith fakes. Rhodes down low. Blocked in Edmonds with a great tip away. And here comes Vanderwill. Morris for three, long. Oh, and the bank is open. <laughs> She'll take it. Macy Morris, first three since her injury. And it's a big one. Dragons within eight. Blocked. Fouled. Worthington fouls her, but helps her up. Brandwell taking on the freshman. Kicks it over to Dunlap. Morris gets it. Shot. Foul. She's shooting two. Is that Worthington second? Uh, well, we're going to find out here in a minute. I'm not speculating. That's her first. This should be her second one. She just had her charge. No, that was Mercedes Rhodes got the charge. Oh, well. They didn't, no, they should have been a foul down at that end, right? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. They didn't give it to her, I guess. I don't know. That should be your second. You're right. And puts it in. Dragons with 11. Dunlap with her first. Came in a little too aggressive on that yep. one. Mercedes Rhodes has it. Misses. Blocked. Edmonds with another block shot. Worthington's going to have her hands dealt with tonight. Going to have her work cut out for her with Edmonds being as tall as she is. Hoffman. Morris. Back over to Hoffman, Re covers it. Edmonds fakes, gets him in the air, jumper, and it's off. Yeah. 
<clears throat> Loose. Fanduel with the recovery. Gets it. Gets it over to Morris. Hoffman needs to get it down. Bounce pass. Gets it. Vanderbilt recovers. Morris drives. Gets it over to Dunlap. Vanderbilt. Foul. Hutspeth. Edmonds going to the line. Brindley, home watching the game, wants a shout out, so I'll give one to Brindley. Edmonds puts it in. Edmonds, good. Making a comeback, Dragons working it in, settling down now. Went through a little cold phase there. Ball's loose on the ground. Jump ball, and it's going to be Oregon Davis. 14 seconds left. It's a stack. See where they're going to go. They're going to try to get it in. Sowers picking. This so obvious. They're going back to her. And she misses. Rebound goes to Morris. Long distance pass. Dunlap misses it. And four seconds. Another forced turnover. <clears throat> Misses. Dragons go in trailing 18 to 13 after the first. We'll be back right after this. Let RTC TV4 highlight your business or service in our local sports coverage. Through our platform, you have the option to use a 30-second commercial that you already have, or you can have us make a 15-second logo sponsorship for you. With eight local schools in our partnership, we're sure you'll reach your intended audience. Sponsor with RTC TV4 today. At Co-Alliance, we understand the importance of community. After all, we've been farmer-owned since the 1920s. And now that we're a part of your community, we want to become your total agronomy solutions provider. Co-Alliance offers the latest in ag technology for your operation. From field scouting and fertilizers to premium seed and precision agriculture, we can help take your operation to the next level. Put the resources of your local cooperative to work. Contact Co-Alliance today. Cross court, pass, dangerous. Morris gets it over to Edmonds. Morris tries to force it, gets it back. Wowzers, travel. They're just going to drive on Edmonds and make her foul. It's her second. Misses. Bowenbacher in for Morris.
Rhodes puts that one in. Hoffman picks it up. Bohlenbacher. Throws it away. Bounce pass, girls, bounce pass. Shot. Good. Edmonds. Shots up and puts it in. Lots of contact. Still puts it in. Good strong play from Edmonds. Shots up. Way off. Blocked. Calls timeout. The official calls timeout. Says my time. I don't know because Mercedes Rhodes got, fell down and she's holding her stomach a little bit. But he's called timeout because he felt that it, he should. Well, Worthington getting a little aggressive on that rebound. She was throwing elbows and they called the foul on Bollenbacher, who was standing still, and Worthington makes him pay with the first one. <coughs> makes it. Hoffman trying to throw up and over somebody. Rhodes. Now that was a foul. <laughs> Man, I would have one whistle. That should be Worthington's third, but I think it's only going to be her second. Yep. She had the first one. You were right, Phil. That actually should be her third, but that's only her second. Kicks it over. LaFree misses. LaFree misses. Vanderbilt recovers it. Dunlap. And out comes Morris and goes Edmonds. I'll tell you what, both teams are ugly. <laughs> I mean, there's not a good smooth transitional basketball. It is aggressive, like we've always talked about. Hoffman for three, and it's long. Rebound goes LaFree. Blocked. It's, it's not like the teams we've seen play each other before. No, we know. It, it's aggressive, just kind of sloppy aggressive. Yeah, it's not quite the talent level from both squads that we've had in the past. Worthington puts it in. Dragons down by 10.
Edmonds misses. Caddy corner pass, Hutspeth. Jump fake, misses, misses. And he calls a foul on Vanderwill from midcourt. That's her second. Hutzbeth misses. Yeah, there for a second I thought he called it on Cagney and I was like, she could jump as high as she wants, still can't get her fingers. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. Bounce pass, girls. Hoffman gets it over to Free. Two. No good. Vanderwill for another foul. That's her third. Misses. And makes that one. Timeout, Coach Dewar. 3.49 left in the half. Dragons down 26-15. We'll be back after this. Argus Hardware is your local do-it-best hardware store. Offering everything you need for your home improvement. Lawn and garden, housewares, and home decor. Argus Hardware prides itself on a knowledgeable and friendly staff. Stop by today to stock up on all of your winter preparation needs, like shovels or ice melt. Argus Hardware is located at 200 West Walnut Street in Argus. Argus Hardware, your local do-it-best hardware store. All right, we're back. Dunlap brings it down the court, gets it over to Hoffman. Edmonds, Hoffman, kicks it over. Morris. <sighs> Dunlap steals it. Fouled, and Dunlap shooting two. off on the first one. <laughs> Makes that one. Dunlap with her first point on the night. Blocked, recovered. Worthington fakes with the easy layup and the foul, Hoffman. It's her first on the evening. <coughs> Misses. LaFree. We got Morris. I'm sure that's not what Coach wants of her bringing it down. I 
I want Edmonds posting. Rotates it around. Morris fakes. Got the three off, and it's missed. Out of bounds. Kicks it over. Rhodes has it. Shots up. Worthington battles through it. Rhodes. Gonna go Bobcats ball. Probably could have been about four, four or five calls right there on that one segment. Two, two Argus fouls and probably f five fouls against the Bobcats, two for the Dragons. But nothing was called, so they're playing it. Shots up, blocked. Hutsmith kicks it out. It's going to be on Morris. Morris, her first. And she's shooting two there in a double bonus. Ten fouls on the Dragons, five on the Bobcats. Remember the one game, it was 27 fouls for the Dragons and two on Oregon Davis over at Oregon Davis the one year. Oh, boy. I thought the fans were going to flip out. <laughs> Edmonds gets it over to Dunlap. Dragons throw it away. Here comes the Lady Cats. Dragons down by 14. Yep, Worthington tripped her. Yep, and that's her third, and it should be her fourth. But oh, improper on the officials remembering coming across to make it, so Worthington's going to have to probably come out. <clears throat> and she does. Worthington was a type of, she's very aggressive. And she gets, usually has a little bit of foul trouble against the Dragons in her past history. Stolen to Sowers. Lays it in for two. LaFree. The girls have got to work on the bounce pass. <clears throat> Dunlap takes it, gets it to Edmonds. Edmonds shots up, and it's no good. Kick, ball goes off of Dunlap's feet. Dunlap goes flying. And Menix. Tell you what, a little freshman. Elizabeth Johnson, all she does is cover the ball player. <clears throat> the ball has the ball for the Dragons. She's done a great job. <clears throat> Rhodes has it. Shooting two, Rhodes at the line. Rhodes has struggled tonight from the line and she is mentally upset about it. That's her third miss from the line and I don't imagine she does that very often. Misses that one. And number 35. Chesser with the foul, the freshman. 5'11". Worthington. 
One and one for Morris. Misses. Chester makes up for it with the rebound. Sowers has it. Hutspeth picks it up. Caddy corner out high. Sowers all by herself and misses. Johnson with the rebound. Johnson, all five foot of her. Got the rebound. <laughs> Sowers fakes. Drives, loses it. It's off of Edmonds, and Bobcats keep the ball. 27 seconds left. Sowers, 4'11. Plays with the heart of a six footer. She's tough. Gets it. Rhodes drives. Edmonds. Her third. And Rhodes misses the first one again. She's got five misses from the line tonight. Puts that one in. Hoffman's back in, Edmonds out. Edmonds and Vanderwill both with three. Worthington for the Lady Bobcats has three. Dunlap for three, and it's good. And Hutspeth with two, with the fast break, taking advantage, and puts it in. Dragons down, 35-19. We'll be back here in a little bit. We're going to take a few commercial breaks. Going to get, uh, let me see, unofficial stats, and we'll be back here in a minute. Simplify your banking with a Simply Free Checking account from First Federal Savings Bank. At First Federal Savings Bank, we appreciate your referrals. Refer your friends to open a Simply Free Checking account. When your friend opens a checking account, you can both receive a free gift. It's easy as one, two, three. Simply Free Checking from First Federal Savings Bank, a simpler way to bank. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. Got that new home addition and you're keeping it covered. Ooh, coverages now. I can help with this. Got zone coverage, man coverage, combo coverages. I don't know, Peyton. I think more like the coverage your nationwide agent offers. Oh, you want to go there. Home, auto, life, business, farm, boat, RV, ATV, camper, pet, motorcycle, your tour bus. Right. Did I mention farm? Contact Jennings Insurance Agency today or visit one of our offices in Argus and Rochester. Hi, I'm John Oliver with a few reasons why your next pre-owned vehicle should be from Oliver Ford Lincoln. Imagine a 172-point certification along with a 44-point safety inspection. We even get you a vehicle history report. It's for your peace of mind because we treat our customers like family. You even get free car washes for life. So get more for your money and more for your trade with certified pre-owned at Oliver Ford Lincoln in Plymouth. At First Federal Savings Bank, we offer a wide variety of services for our customers. We offer a variety of deposit products, such as personal and business accounts. We pride ourselves in being one of the top mortgage lenders in Indiana. We offer commercial lending and business checking to help with your business banking needs. Through LPL Financial, our financial services department is here to help you with your financial planning needs. 
Come see us today and see how our family can help your family. All of a Ford is the largest certified pre-owned dealer in Michiana. Our inventory changes daily and you are guaranteed the best customer service in our area. We treat you like family. Every certified pre-owned Ford includes factory-backed warranty coverage, complimentary vehicle history report and lots more. Don't miss out on our end-of-year discounts on all of our good as new inventory. Rates low as we have ever seen and the best customer service you have ever experienced. At Co-Alliance Propane, we treat our customers like neighbors because, well, that's what we are. When you trust Co-Alliance Propane as your seriously local propane provider, you're trusting a team of professionals who live, work, and watch the game from right across the county, not the country. A team that's close by and seriously dedicated to your safety and providing the best service possible. Find out more about Co-Alliance Propane's seriously local service and how you can get 50 gallons of propane free at CoAlliancePropane.com. Simplify your banking with a Simply Free checking account from First Federal Savings Bank. All it takes is $50 to open the account with no minimum balance and no monthly service fees. For a limited time, you will also receive a free gift just for opening the account. And with Instant Issue, we can give you a debit card right when you open your account, giving you immediate access to your funds. Simply Free Checking from First Federal Savings Bank, a simpler way to bank. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. you shop at Oliver Ford Lincoln in Plymouth, you're treated like family and it's a full service experience. Our expert service team can keep your vehicle happy for years, from simple maintenance to major repairs. We even provide a loaner car if your vehicle needs to stay overnight. So we have an excellent source of demonstrator vehicles offered to you with substantial discounts. So search our inventory online or stop in for a test drive at Oliver Ford Lincoln in Plymouth. Wanna know what I like best about playing basketball for my high school? I like it because it's a place where my friends get to see me play. I like it because I'm playing for someone besides myself. I'm playing for everybody in my school and every person in my community. Indiana High School Sports. They're more than just a game. Come and see me play. Neighbors help each other. It's how our community works. And it's how we do business at RTC. We know you count on us for fiber internet, TV, and phone service backed by friendly local support. Your hard-earned dollars stay right here as we invest in our community, our people, and smart technology. RTC Fiber Communications. We're your hometown communications provider working hard to be a good neighbor. RTC Cable subscribers, now you can watch your favorite cable networks wherever you are, on your phone, tablet, or computer. Just log on to www.watchtveverywhere.com. Enter your RTC account information and sign up to watch TV everywhere. Live sports, videos on demand, and more, all for free with your RTC Cable subscription. Watch TV everywhere, another great service from RTC. Save money when you switch your home phone service to VoIP from RTC. Everyone knows that RTC Fiber Communication is the area's leading provider of high-speed fiber optic internet service. Now, RTC can help save you money on your monthly phone bill by switching your phone over to the internet with VoIP. Same great service at a fraction of the cost. Contact RTC today to find out more about this money-saving offer online at www.rtc1.com. RTC Fiber Communications is proud to announce the new RTC TV4 family of networks. Now you can watch nine local video channels dedicated to covering the events that are important to you from anywhere in the world, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And you can watch for free. Just download the mobile app our new Roku channel, or online at www.rtctv4.com. The RTC TV4 family of networks. Start watching today.
Whatever phone fits your style, RTC Fiber Communications can save you money when you switch to VoIP. VoIP is a phone service that leverages the power of the internet to save you money on your monthly phone bill. Same great service at a fraction of the cost. Contact RTC today to find out more about this money-saving offer. Online at www.rtc1.com. Enjoy full-screen television viewing of the new RTC TV4 family of networks anywhere you are with our new Roku channel. Simply purchase a Roku device from RTC or any Roku retailer, connect to your in-home Wi-Fi, then download the RTC TV4 channel. It's that easy. Watch all of our live channels 24-7 for free or subscribe to view all of our videos at your convenience. The RTC TV4 channel on Roku, another great service from RTC. All right, we're back. We've got some unofficial halftime stats here for the Lady Bobcats. You got Worthington with seven, uh, Sowers with nine, Hutspeth with eight, and Mercedes Rhodes with 11. Very un inconsistent from the free throw line, which we haven't, I haven't seen. I can't believe that she has, but she's missed five from the line. So I'm sure that Coach uh, Minix probably talked to her about that. So uh, for the Lady Dragons, you got Vanderbilt with two, Hoffman with three, Dunlap with four, Morris with four, and Edmonds with six. Dragons trailing, as we said, 35 to 19. So it'll be Dragons basketball. At the beginning of the second half, Dragons looking to turn it around. I take it to Worthington, get her in foul trouble. She's got three already. It's about all you should do. That's nine up there, Philly, not seven. I know, I'm just I'm trying to see where I missed. You missed a lot. Phil's trying to do unofficial stats, too. But he got his wife here chatting with him in the game, and she, he huffs and puffs, and then he misses the baskets. <laughs> so... Going the other direction, it'll be Dragons basketball. Kicks it over, Vanderwill, quick little jumper, and it's in and out. Rhodes has it. And they throw it out. Worthington still on the bench. Coach isn't taking any chances for her to get a fourth in the four third quarter. Brandon Will drives down, gets herself in trouble. Dunlap fakes, gets her in the air. A little jumper from the elbow, misses. And here comes Rhodes. <clears throat> Sowers, long distance three, and it's good. It's college threes. Dunlap has it. Hoffman, wide open for three, and returns to favor. Kicks it up, Vanderbilt, got Rhodes on her, and misses. Stolen, Edmonds, taking it right at him. Oh. 
Hoffman for three and misses. LaFree with the foul. Van Hutspitz going to the line. LaFree's third. Dragons, three players with three fouls. Puts it in. Dunlap goes around her. Dunlap with the offensive foul. Rhodes has it. Timeout, Minix. We'll be back. Dragons trailing 39-22. The Winning Edge is your local provider for all your school athletic needs. From providing customizable sportswear to engraving trophies, the Winning Edge strives to help teams find their edge on the playing field. Visit the Winning Edge today. Locally owned and operated, Mike's Trash LLC in Rochester is your local service for all your trash removal needs. Whether you're a big business or a local resident, Mike's Trash LLC will be sure to take care of all your waste removal needs. Contact Mike's Trash LLC today. And we're back. See what they set up. Chesser going to bring it in. Gets it in. Tipped by Hoffman. Out of bounds. <laughs> you got both You got both of the tallest players up against yeah. each other. <laughs> Five. Let me see. Hoffman. Five foot even and what's Hoffman? Hoffman's listed as 5-2. So. Gets it in to Worthington. Chesser. Here comes Hoffman. Vanderbilt, shot, good. Dragons make another one. The free has it. Thrown away. Sowers. Gets it over to Rhodes. Clears an easy break to the lane. Right around LaFree. Edmonds on the ground. Foul. Is it Worthington with her fourth? And it is. She'll be out, and here comes Hutspeth back in. Worthington's out. Worthington and Chesser. Hoffman, and no good. Rebound goes to Vanderwill. Kicks it out. Hoffman for three, and it's no good. Stolen. Hoffman's got to wait for it. Morris. 
Dunlap open for three, no good. Rebound goes to Hoffman. It's gonna be Oregon Davis's basketball. 41-24, and what we said first half continues for the second. Both teams are sloppy, but it's just because it's so fast paced, very aggressive, and they're just trying to figure it out. Rhodes. Kits it to fall. Dunlap goes across the timeline. Brandon Will fakes. Morris for three. No good. Dunlap gets it to roll. Edmonds breaks up the play out of bounds. Twenty six, forty three, Dragons staying in it. Just an awful distance. Had that bad spell at the beginning of the first quarter and have not been able to make it up. Edmonds with a big rebound. Morris. Foul. Chessa. Coach Minnick's not happy with that. He's saying she knows better. <laughs> Morris for two and gets it. Shots up, misses, rebound, Hoffman, and she's fouled by Hutspeth. Vanderwill, Dunlap, drives, fouled. Hutspeth. That's her fourth, too. Well. Maybe. No. Nope. Nope, it's only her third. Mm -hmm. We'll see. Oh, I'm helping Chester along. <laughs> You're helping Chester along. <laughs> I'm getting her closer to her fourth. Morris. Gets it over to Vanderwill. Dunlap fakes, kicks it out. Van de Wiel for three, and it's off the mark. Edmonds battles, and Van de Wiel gets it. Or Hutspeth gets it. Rhodes for three, no good. Rhodes rebounds. Vanderwill. And Rhodes for the travel. Sees Rhodes, tough competitor. Hoffman fakes. Morris for three. No good. Dunlap kicks it over and Hutspeth gets it. Hutspeth misses. Vanderwill rebounds. Gets it. Breaks it away. Dunlap doesn't get it. Over to Morris. Hoffman. Edmonds spins. Shot. Edmonds with the bucket. Dragons within 13. Rebound. Edmonds. And. Silly foul from Rhodes, and that's what Coach Mimics is like, why? It was frustration foul. Swings down from behind. Dragons needed this kind of fight and intensity for the first half. Van Will goes. Hoffman, Dunlap, fakes. Goes through two of them and puts it in. Dunlap, Sowers, Johnson for three, no good. 
Edmonds with the rebound. Edmonds says, I'm taking it. Gives it over to Hoffman. Baseline jumper. No good. Rebound goes to Dunlap. And throws it away. LaFree going in for Morris. Morris, huge amount of minutes tonight. Coming back from her injury. Fantastic work out of her. Rhodes. Gets it in. Good work from Rhodes. Goes through everybody. Dragons kind of being tentative and passive with foul trouble. Edmonds. Um, Dunlap for three. It's off the mark. Rebound goes LaFree. Shots up. LaFree puts it in. Dunlap on Rhodes. One point nine seconds left. Shots up, no good. Dragons within 11, cuts the lead. We'll be back right after this. Let RTC TV4 highlight your business or service in our local sports coverage. Through our platform, you have the option to use a 30 second commercial that you already have, or you can have us make a 15 second logo sponsorship for you. With eight local schools in our partnership, we're sure you'll reach your intended audience. Sponsor with RTC TV4 today. At Co Alliance, we understand the importance of community. After all, we've been farmer owned since the 1920s. And now that we're a part of your community, we want to become your total agronomy solutions provider. Co Alliance offers the latest in ag technology for your operation. From field scouting and fertilizers to premium seed and precision agriculture, we can help take your operation to the next level. Put the resources of your local cooperative to work. Contact CoAlliance today. We're back. <laughs> Admins has it. Gets it back over to Vanderbilt. Dragons making some headway on that third quarter. Worthington with four, so she's going to be out for a bit. Coach Menix can't risk it. Dunlap for three. Big shot, and it's short. And there's a fourth on Dunlap. Misses. Rebound, Edmonds. Edmonds, point guard. <laughs> Hoffman, fakes. Edmonds, jumper. In and out. It's going to be Oregon Davis's basketball. Good hustle from Vanderbilt and Dunlap. Emma Dunlap in. Morgan Dunlap out. Rhodes takes it in. Dragons back down by 13. Good move from Vanderbilt. Dunlap fakes. Kicks it over. Bounce pass from Dunlap. I like to see it. Hoffman. Little jumper and it's blocked. Edmonds battles. Jump ball. It's going to be Bobcats basketball.
No good. Tipped out. Sauer's going to come away with it. Uses the momentum and keeps going. Vanderbilt out on her. Double dribble. Rhodes. Called for a double dribble and she's not happy with it. <laughs> Hoffman for three. Big three from Hoffman. That's her third one of the evening. Dragons could use a few more of those. Down by 10. Gonna make it exciting. Rhodes dribbles in. Kicks it out. Long distance three, kicks it over. Johnson for shot, and it's in and out. And free, and rebound, Vanderweel. Jumper, Vanderweel, misses. <laughs> and that's on. Should be on Emma. Yeah, Emma's her first. Kicks it down, Worthington. Hutsmith misses, rebound, Hoffman. Vanderbilt, jumper, puts it in. By eight, Dragons are cutting it. Two points at a time. And listen to the crowd getting into it. Rhodes. Sowers, Worthington, Hoffman steals it, and there's her fifth foul, and Worthington is out. Huge play from Hoffman with the help side, and Worthington should be done, and she is. Chester comes back in. What a play from Hoffman. Huge help side. And here comes full court press. Coach Dewey calls timeout. Full timeout. We'll be back right after this. Simplify your banking with a simply free checking account from First Federal Savings Bank. At First Federal Savings Bank, we appreciate your referrals. Refer your friends to open a simply free checking account. When your friend opens a checking account, you can both receive a free gift. It's easy as one, two, three. Simply free checking from First Federal Savings Bank, a simpler way to bank. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. Argus Hardware is your local do-it-best hardware store, offering everything you need for your home improvement, lawn and garden, housewares, and home decor. Argus Hardware prides itself on a knowledgeable and friendly staff. Stop by today to stock up on all of your winter preparation needs, like shovels or ice melt. Argus Hardware is located at 200 West Walnut Street in Argus. Argus Hardware, your local do-it-best hardware store. And we're back. Full court pressure. Edmonds gets it. Picks up her dribble. Here comes Vanderwill. Edmonds gets it back. It's across the court. Loose picks it up. LaFree comes away with it. Drives in and is blocked. Well, this is the type of game we were discussing. LaFree fouled. No call. Gets it. Edmonds takes a look. Gets her near. LaFree, quick jumper. And it's in, LaFree for two more. And Dragons got it down to six. Long three, and it's good, and Rhodes immediately answers. Edmonds has it. Splits him. Kicks it over to Dunlap. And it's stolen. Oh, my word. <laughs> he was anticipating the foul, right? 
That's what it looked like. Yeah. I mean, Emma stopped. The girl lost control of the ball. Oh, well. Here we go. They get it in. Rhodes. Back to a nine-point game. Sowers. Rhodes. It's going to be her third. Emma's. Yeah, Emma's third. One-on-one. -on -one. And Rhodes has had struggles. See if it's continuing here towards the second half. Dragons were just in six. Now they're down by nine, and it could be 11. And she puts the first one in. Morris. LaFree out. Morgan Dunlap in for Emma Dunlap. <coughs> Good minutes from the freshman, Emma. Misses. Hoffman comes away with it. Turns away from pressure and goes at her. Goes right around her. Dunlap. Morris fakes. Vanderwill. Dragons need to keep shooting quickly. Shots up. And it's in. <laughs> she was surprised at that one. Dragons. Down to eight again. And they'll hold the ball and run the clock. Rebound, Edmonds. Kicks it over. Morris, Hoffman, drives. Little jumper, and it's blocked. Off the mark. Rebound. Morris, and it's good. Back down to six. Dragons need to stay on them. Hoffman, coach telling Hoffman, get out and switch because you don't have the fouls. They're just going to run the clock. Dragon's going to have to do something. Rhodes, Morris, Fowler. I don't see. I didn't see this energy out of the Dragons in the first half. No, it'd be a different game if we'd have had this energy the it, first. It would have been a totally different game. <laughs> first quarter. First quarter. And gets it to roll. Rhodes. Misses. Rebound goes to Edmonds. Call the foul. <laughs> Fans are wanting it. Fans are wanting it. Morris for three and misses. Rebound, Hutspeth. Sowers. Minute 28 left. Dragons down by, what is it? Okay. I think that was a makeup one. Yeah. Foul. So they cleared the lane for Rhodes that was driving in. And we got a timeout. Dragons down 52 45. 
by seven. We'll be back after this. Got that new home edition and you're keeping it covered. Ooh, coverages now. I can help with this. Got zone coverage, man coverage, combo coverages. I don't know, Peyton. I think more like the coverage your nationwide agent offers. Oh, you want to go there? Home, auto, life, business, farm, boat, RV, ATV, camper, pet, motorcycle, your tour bus. Right. Did I mention farm? Contact Jennings Insurance Agency today or visit one of our offices in Argus and Rochester. Hi, I'm John Oliver with a few reasons why your next pre-owned vehicle should be from Oliver Ford Lincoln. Imagine a 172-point certification along with a 44-point safety inspection. Okay, Dragon's down by seven. Dragon's ball. Gets it in to Edmonds. Back over to Vanderbilt. Minute 16 left. Gets it over to Hoffman. Edmonds tipped away, stolen by Hutspeth. Who touched it? <laughs> it's going to be Oregon Davis's ball. Minute left. Dragons running out of time. Sowers and Mercedes. Sowers and Rhodes were experienced. They know how to keep them and keep the ball away from the Dragons. Five second call. Rhodes didn't get rid of it. Great defense from Vanderbilt. 45 seconds left, down by seven. Edmonds. Dunlap drives, baseline, kicks it out. Hoffman fakes. Vanderbilt, little jumper, and it's good. Down by five, 32 seconds left. Dragons need to come up and get the ball. And Sowers is going to the line. Caitlin Sowers, she's not her first rodeo, she's used to these high pressure situations, especially with Coach Menix. No, but if they're gonna foul, they need to foul Rhodes because she's not been so good at the line. Well, we'll see how Sowers does, and she makes the first one with a good bounce. Good for her, that is. Six points, and could be seven after this. Misses, Edmonds. 22 seconds left, Edmonds not wasting any time. Hoffman, and wasn't ready for it, and they threw it away. <laughs> Coach be calling timeout, or sub, so you got defensive players who can give up fouls. Throws it up, and Sowers comes to it. And that's gonna probably do it. The Dragons are gonna come out a little bit short tonight. But they battled back with a valiant effort with the second half. Like we were discussing before they went into the half, is they looked like they'd done give up before the yeah. second half. Yeah. And whatever coach talked to them about in the locker room kind of fired them up a little bit. Yeah, it's changed the way that game went. And they're going to come up a little short, but this team's beatable, and they're going to probably face, uh, could be facing them again in Bay County. So the Dragons will have a second chance at these girls, or has a chance at a second chance, or for lack of a better phrase. So I don't know, is, is, are the, is OD uh, back down into our uh, sectional now, or yes. are they still up? They are down, so they are beatable in sectionals also. And Oregon Davis comes out on top, 55-47. We're gonna get some unofficial stats, and we will be back after a few messages. At First Federal Savings Bank, we offer a wide variety of services for our customers. We offer a variety of deposit products, such as personal and business accounts. 
We pride ourselves in being one of the top mortgage lenders in Indiana. We offer commercial lending and business checking to help with your business banking needs. Through LPL Financial, our financial services department is here to help you with your financial planning needs. Come see us today and see how our family can help your family. All of a Ford is the largest certified pre-owned dealer in Michiana. Our inventory changes daily and you are guaranteed the best customer service in our area. We treat you like family. Every certified pre-owned Ford includes factory-backed warranty coverage, complimentary vehicle history report and lots more. Don't miss out on our end-of-year discounts on all of our good-as-new inventory. Rates low as we have ever seen and the best customer service you have ever experienced. At Co-Alliance Propane, we treat our customers like neighbors because, well, that's what we are. When you trust Co-Alliance Propane as your seriously local propane provider, you're trusting a team of professionals who live, work, and watch the game from right across the county, not the country. A team that's close by and seriously dedicated to your safety and providing the best service possible. Find out more about Co-Alliance Propane's seriously local service and how you can get 50 gallons of propane free at CoAlliancePropane.com. Simplify your banking with a Simply Free checking account from First Federal Savings Bank. All it takes is $50 to open the account with no minimum balance and no monthly service fees. For a limited time, you will also receive a free gift just for opening the account. And with Instant Issue, we can give you a debit card right when you open your account, giving you immediate access to your funds. Simply Free checking from First Federal Savings Bank, a simpler way to bank. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. When you shop at Oliver Ford Lincoln in Plymouth, you're treated like family and it's a full service experience. Our expert service team can keep your vehicle happy for years, from simple maintenance to major repairs. We even provide a loaner car if your vehicle needs to stay overnight. So we have an excellent source of demonstrator vehicles offered to you with substantial discounts. So search our inventory online or stop in for a test drive at Oliver Ford Lincoln in Plymouth. The Winning Edge is your local provider for all your school athletic needs. From providing customizable sportswear to engraving trophies, The Winning Edge strives to help teams find their edge on the playing field. Visit The Winning Edge today. Locally owned and operated, Mike's Trash LLC in Rochester is your local service for all your trash removal needs. Whether you're a big business or a local resident, Mike's Trash LLC will be sure to take care of all your waste removal needs. Contact Mike's Trash LLC today. Let RTC TV4 highlight your business or service in our local sports coverage. Through our platform, you have the option to use a 30 second commercial that you already have, or you can have us make a 15 second logo sponsorship for you. With eight local schools in our partnership, we're sure you'll reach your intended audience. Sponsor with RTC TV4 today. Argus Hardware is your local do-it-best hardware store, offering everything you need for your home improvement, lawn and garden, housewares, and home decor. Argus Hardware prides itself on a knowledgeable and friendly staff. Stop by today to stock up on all of your winter preparation needs, like shovels or ice melt. Argus Hardware is located at 200 West Walnut Street in Argus. Argus Hardware, your local do-it-best hardware store. Simplify your banking with a Simply Free checking account from First Federal Savings Bank. At First Federal Savings Bank, we appreciate your referrals. Refer your friends to open a Simply Free checking account. When your friend opens a checking account, you can both receive a free gift. It's easy as one, two, three. Simply Free checking from First Federal Savings Bank, a simpler way to bank. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. And we're back. <laughs> we had a bet. 
I said it'd be under 10. She said it'd be closer to 20. <laughs> okay, here we go. Lady Bobcat scoring for the night. Oh, yeah. Worthington fouled out, but she had seven. Uh, Hutspeth with nine. Sowers with 13. And then Mercedes Rhodes, that's who you got to cover. It's kind of obvious, 26. Lady Dragons. LaFree, four. Hoffman, nine. Vanderwill, 10. Dunlap, Edmonds, and Morris. Morris with eight. All three had eight. So the Dragons fall 55-47, but they're going to have some opportunities. They are in our sectional. There's a chance we'll see them in Bi-County. So uh, this team's beatable. The Dragons uh, didn't do very well the first half. First half they had, uh, yeah, I think it was five, five buckets and four free throws, and uh, that was it. So third quarter, they really outshined and made a big comeback and did well. So it was a closer battle than what we uh, was looking at, but I was very excited to see that they worked at it and they didn't give up. So we're going to call it a night. Remember tomorrow, big night here, and then we will be back again on Saturday as the Dragons play Pioneer. So you're getting two schools worth of action with one viewing. So for Phil Dean, Peyton on the camera. You're watching Argus TV at RTC TV4. So thank you and good evening.